I am the worst football manager ever and this is it everybody the gospel gamble we are into episode 12 maybe I don't know what episode I've, I've lost track of the di- of the episode numbers now but that doesn't matter because all you need to know is that this is one of the most important episodes of this series I might ever do this could be the last one I ever do reason being is because I am uh, at the end of an ultimatum let me explain a little bit if you weren't aware things aren't going too great for me in this season in this save I'm 17th in the league and things were not going great I should be topped half of the table and I'm I was even hoping to reach the playoffs and the board I not happy said a whole load of stuff things got a bit heated anyway they then gave me an ultimatum I have five games and I had to get nine points First, let me show you how I did on it, right? Um, you can look at all these episodes in the past as well. So if you're not a subscriber, do subscribe. If you haven't liked this video, then click the like button. And I'd love to have you join me for the journey of this and continue. So the first game of this ultimatum was against Hemel Hempstead, and I won 2-0. Charlie Collins, one of my strikers, scored two beauties. Excellent, excellent game. We then had a break with the FA Cup, and unfortunately I got knocked out of the FA Cup with Oxford City. That was a sad time. Um, but then I played Ebbsfleet. I don't think I've ever beaten Ebbsfleet ever um, in this game. But anyway, so I lost against Ebbsfleet. I then won against Oxford City. Retribution. Revenge came to us as we won 2-0. Reese Greenidge and the big Merlin scored two beauties there. And um, and then, as you saw in the last episode, I just lost 3-1 to Wellin. Um, sad game. So I'm now at the point where I've got six points. I need three points from one game. And this next game I'm playing is against Dorchester, this side here, who are 19th in the league. They are not a good side. Like Their, their prediction is 21st, so they're actually two point places above their predicted place. They're, they're due to be re- relegated. Um, and so I should win this game. I should win it. But as my stuff has been happening, as things have been going on, as you can tell, I'm not doing as well as I thought and hoped and thought I would do. So, it is all down to this one game. One game. Three points. This is it, everyone. So, I hope you're with me in today's episode. Let's just hope for the best. I kind of want the Gospel Gamble to continue, partly because I've already made some thumbnails for it. Do you know what I mean? I've already made the little thumbnails with with some of the numbers going a bit higher than the one we're on today. So it'll be helpful to be to be able to use them and not just have to make them and delete them. That's that's probably the main reason. Um, so yeah, let's get going, shall we? Okay, so it looks like the Don- Dorchester are going to be playing a 4-4-2. And let me show you the team that I'm playing, because I'm taking some risks today. Um, pushing the boat out. That Here's the boat, and this is me pushing it out. The boat is going out, everyone. It is being pushed out, full and, through and through. It is being pushed out. And let me show you. I'm going for the 4-2-4 formation, which... Um, I just started two games ago and it worked well for me. However, I did just lose 3-1, so obviously it's not brilliant, but um, it will do. Um, I'm playing in control, partly through the back room advice said to me to play in control. In my instructions, all I'm doing is going looking for the overlap um, and going for slightly more direct passing. But apart from that, that is it. I kind of want to leave... Um, the directions as loose as possible really so that they can play their game that suits them um let me tell you a few like two big changes that i've made um since the last one that my wingers um last game i played carl spence and joe anion on the left and the right things are changed in this game i've put anion up front he's been playing much better up front did score in the last game i'm pretty sure it was him Am I right? Yes, there he was. Yeah, 20 minutes. He was my goal scorer. But um, very rarely has he actually scored as a winger. So um, that was just a bit of a one-off. So I've moved him into striker. He's going to be playing as an advanced forward with Charlie Collins being as a target, a support target man next to him. Um, and then on the left, we've got Dakari Sher- Sheriff or I'm pretty sure it's Dakari Sheriff, um, who is my lone player from Colchester. Um, haven't played him yet. This is going to be his first game for us. But there he is playing. Um, you know what? I'm actually going I'm wondering whether to play him as an inside forward just because he's more suited to an inside forward. Um, cuts inside from the flanks and runs directly at the centre of the opposition's effect and works best when the player's strongest foot is opposite to the flank player. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I'm going to stick him out as a winger, keep him as a winger for now. And then on the right, we've got Hubert Adamsik. Adam Sick. Adam Sick. 
that's all right, all right. that will do for now. Um, on the right there as well. Again, another lone player. This one is from Chelsea. Oh, Chelsea. Uh, yeah, 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 mate. A player from Chelsea wants to come and play for Gosport. What about it? Sue me, man. Yeah, of course. I'm good like that. I've kind of, when you know the people, you get players like that. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, we're going to hope that those things will pay off for me. Um, so this is my side. In the midfield, we've got Ben Harding and we've brought Robinson back in. Captain Robinson is back in the squad in the starting 11 today. He's fully fit. Um, it's 7.04. I'm giving him another go. Uh, I'm sure he'll be great. And then at the back, we've got um, Reese Greenidge and DeGracia Greenidge with the goal last game, which is brilliant. Kelly Ugar is back playing on the left. He's going to be pushing forward for me. I'm looking forward to having him back. He's just been great. He moves forward from that left back position and he gets some nice crosses in so that's good and on the right similarly Elliot Wheeler is an attacking one really an attacking fullback so we'll see what happens there I've put them as automatic just in case the two wingers really take that but we'll see how it goes so this is my team this is the team that's either going to see me sacked or see me stay and uh, what do you reckon do you reckon I'm going to stay or do you reckon I'm going to go? I, I, I don't really want to ask out loud and I don't really want to hear your response because maybe there'll be a lot of people thinking you're definitely going to get sacked, mate. Definitely going to get sacked. This could be my second sacking in, two, in less than two seasons, um, which is not good really, is it? It's not good really. And then ultimately, if I do get sacked, I'll be interested to know what you guys think. Um, it's Thursday today and we've got a video tomorrow. Maybe if I do get sacked, I'll make a different sort of video for tomorrow. Um, but next week, what do I do next week? Do I start again from scratch or do I just try and get another job like I did with this? I, part of me feels like I shouldn't even talk about it, you know. Part of me feels like I shouldn't even go there and entertain the thought. But let's see. Um, he doesn't feel confident in his, at the moment. So what we're going to do is we are just going to close down these attackers and that is it. That is it. I'm not going to mark up the wingers or anything today. Um, get out there and show the world you've got what it takes. They seem motivated by that. This is good. Come on, apart from you wants Joe Anyansar to come through and do the stuff for me today. Here it goes. This could be my last game in charge of, Gloss of Gosport. Um, I said Gloucester there. It's, it's like... I remember like it was yesterday getting sacked, being in the same position as Gloucester manager. However, actually, when I was at the end of the ultimatum, I got the points I needed for Gloucester, but then I got sacked anyway a couple of games later because I lost I lost like 5 nil or something a couple of games later, which wasn't good. But here we go. Under 10 minutes gone so far. And we are... Oh, sorry, I just heard a noise coming from my house. I wonder what that was. But we are... Uh, 6.7, 6.8, um, not so bad. Okay, here's Kelly Ugar with a throw. Ben Harding, back to Kelly Ugar. Can he get a cross in there? Into Sheriff. Sheriff, back to Kelly Ugar. Cross! Wheeler! Yes! Wheeler! Elliot Wheeler! Yes! Yes, boy! Come on! This is so good. Elliot Wheeler, captain. Well, no, actually, he's probably not captain today, but he ha I think he's vice captain for me. Elliot Wheeler, when he's back to full fitness, he gets away from his, from his marker here. Look at that. Steps back, steps back, steps back. Oh, nods it in. Yes, mate! The little man. What? Is he little? I don't even know. I don't know how tall he is, but there he is anyway. However tall he is, however short he is, he has scored for me. I'm 1-0 up. I'm currently saving my job. This is good. This is such a good start. And look at us. Six shots. Seven, um, seven shots now. Four on target. 57% of the possession. This is so, so good. I'm very, oh, so happy about this. 23rd minute. Well, 24th minute. We are 1 0 up. We've just got to hold on to this now. So much, so many times I've been 1 0 up and then lost it. I don't know if you've noticed that. Um, uh, I love the advice. Um, I think it was FM Regen who said to me once on the Twitch, on a stream, that it, you, when you score, give encouragement. No, no, when you score, tell them to concentrate. When you let one in, give them some sort of, tell them to just encourage them a bit. So I went for the encourage there, no, for the concentrate there, um, as we are 1-0 up, 35 minutes gone. This is very, very good. 55% of the possession. Oh, I can't be much happier with this. Dorchester. Um, here's a goal kick. Here's a 
Nathan Ashmore's been in goal for the last few games because strong beard he hasn't been playing too great um, ball is bouncing around all over the pitch is anyone going to pick it up yes Andy Robinson picks it up forward to Harding Collins Joe Anionsar into the box the yes he's made it too he's made it too oh yes come on boy yes Joe Anionsar what did I say at the beginning of the game put him up front and he scores goals and there was um, also FM Regent said that he Joe Anionsar saved his Cambridge City save so this fella if you're looking for a striker in lower league management this is obviously Vanarama South Vanarama North so sort of eight the sort of quality he is a man for you Joe Anionsar um, here's Adam Sick into Ben Harding into Col- Charlie Collins now Sheriff can he play out wide to Kelly Ugar there's Kelly Ugar <gasps> Are you there? Adam Sick on his on his debut. The fans love him already. We're three nil up. We're three nil up. This is like this is like a massive like two fingers up. Stuff it to the board, isn't it? This is like you know what you can throw your ultimatums at me all you like, board. But you know what? I'm still gonna win, and I'm still sticking around. And the fans they think I'm incredible. And this. Ah, oh, what a half! What a half! Three nil. Keep it going. Very happy. This is so good. We are going to go into counter. I'm wondering when. Should I, should I go into counter? Three nil up. You know what? I can't. You know we we can't sort of just. Right, we're going to go a bit lower. Uh, retain possession. Yeah, retain possession. But we will still control the game. We're going to still control. But we're just going to hold on to possession a little bit more now. And we're going a little bit of a slower kind of pace. Now, oh, if I lose, if I throw this away now, I will. it'll be heartbreaking. <laughs> heartbreaking. Because this could still be my last game in charge. But look at these sevens and an 8.6 from Kelly Ugar. And did you see him on that wing? Uh, on the left, a couple of those, he's set up two goals. And both of which have been because he has been on that left making those crosses in. Um, I'm so pleased with him. Um, he's a great, great left back. And uh, we really missed him when he was injured. But now he's back with us. Yes. 3-0. Oh. If, if, oh, this is exactly what I needed. Here's me thinking, you know what, it's the end of the Gosport gamble. I'm going to have to find another team. Here's Ben Harding with a corner. Oh, <laughs> could have been 4 0. This is, this is tasty, like a, like a roast dinner, this game. It's like we've had, we've had beautiful, crispy roast potatoes. We've had some nice um, honey carrots, honey roasted carrots. Um, I feel like we're enjoying a bit of. Um, a bit of like roast pork today with maybe a little bit of his Joe Anion star. Can he make it a bit of pork crackling on the side? Oh, he can't, but Charlie Collins can! Charlie Collins can! And it is pork crackling. All oh, pork crackling at the side of the plate. That's what we're enjoying now as part of this roast dinner. We're 4 0 up. Can you, can you believe it? Can, I can't believe it. Oh, Joe Anion sides a shot. It was a good save from Carter, to be fair, but he didn't stand a chance on the rebound as Charlie Collins just taps it away. And uh, we are 4 0 up. Oh, oh, yes. I can't believe I genuinely I genuinely can't believe it just tell him to concentrate again I still feel like we could lose the game I, maybe that shows how little trust I have in the side but you know so now we're tucking into our you know Yorkshire Yorkshire puddings do you know what I mean we've had all the, the good bits as well as the Yorkshire puddings now but here are Dorchester on the attack oh great save from Nathan Ashmore Oh, Nathan Ashmore is the Yorkshire pudding of today. Um, <laughs> what I don't know what I'm saying. It's his noto. Nor- Dorchester, great clearance from Adam Cech. Great play, guys. This is so good. Look at this. Twelve shots on target. Twelve shots on target. This is, this is. I don't even understand how we're so good today. This is like. I, I, I don't understand I don't understand but here I'm going to move Kelly Yuga into the middle we're taking green greenage off because he's just so tired but Johnny heard on on the left my goodness this is 
This is a look at look at the player ratings. Look at them. One, two, three, four, five. Five eight point somethings. One, two, three, four, seven point somethings. And Nathan Ashmore's only on six point nine because he's had barely anything to do. This is a oh <laughs> I can't I, I I'm genuinely shocked. Uh, I I am genuinely sh- I I cannot believe it. This is this is just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. This is what it feels like to win. All the people that play FM and you win games. I feel like I'm experiencing what you experienced today. Um, so, wow, you must lead great lives, those of you who win. Um, right, Charlie Collins, he has scored and he's on a 9.0, so maybe I shouldn't take him off. Nah, stuff it, take him off. I'm going to say he's had a great, great game, Charlie Collins. Um, but it's time he comes off just to save his energy. Stand innovation probably for him. Charlie, Charlie Collins, what a man! Four, four nil, four nil. You, you just think, how, how has this happened? Here we go, the Gratcher, cross to herd. The, tr- the crowd are just cheering every pass. Ben Hardin, Sheriff, what can he do with it? He's on a yellow card, but don't worry. Justin Bennett, what can he pass it out to her? Johnny Hurd crosses it in. Oh, Sheriff, what can he do with it? Oh, wonderful shot from Sheriff. And uh, Warren Carter, great save to be fair, to give him the credit. And um, looks like Dorchester could be on the attack here if they can get hold of the ball, but it could, they don't seem to be able to. It's bouncing over like ping ball for them. They've ping ball. They've uh, they've had a terrible game really. Kelly Ugar pass it around. Johnny Hurd. W- Wessel's got a blow in a minute. Calvin Pay. Sesegon. Sesegon. That's it. Four nil. Four. Nil. The gospel gamble continues, my friends. We are continuing on to tomorrow. We, we move on to new th- new pastures with gospel. Good, solid win. Passionately, um, nice, vi- very nice victory. Well done. I'm so happy. <laughs> so, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Leave your comments below as to what, what emotion is going through you right now. Are you, are you just like shocked shocked is one of mine ecstatic excited stirred oh what a moment what a moment and as you can see here reach up the board are delighted to inform you that following the promise you made them they are now satisfied that you've done your utmost to keep it they are pleased that you delivered on the agreed points total as a result of the improvements you've made as manager of the board have cancelled any plans to relieve you of your role at the club going forward the board hope you won't give them a reason to regret their decision trust me boys i won't and at this point i want to just show you something that happened just before i started filming three th- new speculations here firstly Jed Lamp um, apparently has denied that he held talks with the Gospel Board about taking over, as did Paul Baskin. He denied talks that the Gospel Board were talking about them about him taking over, and Giovanni Rhodes the same as well. And I can say, Giovanni, and to Paul, and to Jed, get out of here, mate, because the worst football manager, he's here to stay. He's here to stay in Gospel. This is continuing on. So thank you so much for joining me today. Let's look at the uh, Vanarama Conference. Um, I'm now up to 13th. Look at the jump that I've made now. 18 points. Oh, this is so good. I feel so good about about things now. Next games we've got to lose. Tombridge, Basingstoke. We then go into the FA Trophy. So I'll probably... Um, play a few more games and then we'll get on to the FA Trophy that might be the next game I don't know we'll see how we get on but thanks for joining me if you enjoyed this content do hit the like button um, come on a like a 4 nil victory is worth a like I think um, and if you're not subscribing do subscribe but as for me I am the worst football manager ever check you out next on Twitch or on Twitter or whatever but until next time when the gospel gamble continues I'll see you later